everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back. This is Dizzy Knits and Curls and I'm Erica and uh, today I'm going to be talking with you guys about some things that I've been trying recently makeup wise and a couple sort of rediscovered products that I'm not sure are still available but hopefully they are. But anyway I thought I would start with um, Let's start with brows. So this is something I picked up recently. This is the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder, and this is the color Black Gray. So this comes with a, I can get the thing open, um, two little tools here, which actually is what I used on my brows today. Um, it's a little spoolie and a tiny brush. This is a clear wax, and then you mix it with these two colors. There's a gray and a black. So I will go ahead and swatch that. So there's the gray and the black. I know the swatch is in a great location. There's the gray and the black. I used both of those in my brows today. I feel like this, if you dip it into the wax and then apply it, it stays on really well and it gives a nice soft brow look, especially if you're looking for like a cool toned brow, which is kind of hard to find um in the drugstore or pretty much anywhere so and the way i like about it is it's not too super dark i mean you could make it look darker but for the most part it's pretty soft um the next thing i want to talk about is uh, i've got a couple things from cover girl so i'll kind of talk about those together this is the la girl pro conceal hd concealer and this is in the color vanilla it is a little bit light for me i'm using it today under my eyes and around my nose, um, but it's very brightening. Um, it has this weird brush applicator, but I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. So this is really not probably my perfect color because it's neutral with a little bit of baby pink. It's just a tiny pink undertone, so it's a little bit too pink undertoned for me, which makes it extremely brightening. But I do think that looks pretty good under the eyes. Um, I can wear this for up to eight hours. I set it with a little bit of powder, which I'll talk about the powder I'm using in just a second. It's the only high-end product I have, actually. Um, but uh, it does sit a little bit into the tiny wrinkles that are right, right, right under my eyes. See those? Those guys right there. Um, but everything sits in that. So um, I really don't judge it harshly for that reason. And uh, I think that, especially for the price, it was like $4.00. This concealer is one of the best I've ever used. And I've tried samples of high-end concealers. So this is really good for the price and really good for any price. Um, the next thing I wanna talk about is the powder that I use to set under my eyes. It is the Besame Translucent Powder in Brightening Vanilla. This is a little bit pricey, but it's Besame. Um, so they are a little more expensive, but it's got beautiful packaging comes with this little puff, which I don't use because I find, even though it's very cute, I find it just adds a little bit, um, the velour puffs are just a little bit too much uh, under the eyes I use it, uh, but it doesn't have anything on it because it's never been used. Okay, so it has the little filter thing blocked off and then you lift it up and that's where the powder is. It's a translucent powder, um, so it's not really like a color, it's like... I mean, it just disappears into my skin. Um, it's got a slight yellow undertone because it's their brightening vanilla. It smells like vanilla and it's a fairly strong vanilla scent. So if you're not okay with that, um, this may not be for you. Best my products in general may not be for you because the lipsticks have that vanilla scent as well. Um, it doesn't bother me because it's a very natural vanilla, but your mileage may vary. But I think it's a really good setting powder and it doesn't ever cake up or make my under eyes look dry, which is why I love it. And I apply it with a big brush. Um, okay, so then my two CoverGirl things, um, and then I've got two Essence things. Okay, so CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. Do you remember this? I remember this from before I was cruelty free and um, it's not as good as I remember. I used it today and it's okay. It's got this big, dense, spiky brush. Um, it's quite a thick formula. And while it is volumizing, I really don't have very much going on eyelash wise. So I just don't think this is the right formula for me. Um, I need something that is length and volume. And I would say this is really good if you already have quite long lashes. 
my lash hands, but uh, not, not the best um, if you have short, stubby, sad lashes like I do. But I will use it up and then try something else um, from them. Uh, this is the lipstick I'm wearing is CoverGirl um, and I'm using CoverGirl now because they are cruelty free. So um, this is their Demi Matte Formula lipstick in 445 just saying the names for these are really trendy and hip and I'm not hip so I find them ridiculous but that is the lipstick um, I'm wearing it today and uh, I'll give you a swatch. It is a gorgeous as you can see magenta pink a little bit cool toned but not too crazy um, it stays on very well it does not feel drying on the lips even though it is a matte formula I think it has like a satin rose petal sort of feeling to it um, and I really like it and I would try another lipstick uh, from this brand for sure I'm wearing it with a lip liner that was a rediscovered lip liner have you guys tried the essence long-lasting lip liners they're the ones that you like dial up this is the color yummy berry it is the perfect complement to the lipstick I'm wearing. It's beautiful on it with it. I'm wearing it today. Um, but these are so nice. Like, I mean, I can actually fill in my whole lip with these and not have it be like a dry nightmare. They have this, I thought they had like a sharpener on the end, but they don't. Apparently that's just the end cap comes off for no reason. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really good formula and it comes in loads of colors. So, and it's very affordable. And then, I don't know, this is the one I don't know if they still have. Like, these last two, I have no idea if they still carry it. But this is, I'm wearing this today in conjunction with a um, blush product. This is Essence Matte uh, Bronzing Powder for the lighter skin color in the shade 01 Natural. Um, actually, it broke, um, but I've had this for over a year, so I don't care that it broke. Um, this is it. Um, this is a huge pan. It's a very soft bronzer. I know a lot of people talk about the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. I'm going to build this way up so you can see it. Um, and I haven't tried that yet, but I love this. It blends out really nicely. It's, um, it's a perfect bronzer for lighter skin. It has, I wear it as a bronzer, like it's up here and around my hairline and stuff. Um, but I just feel like it's a fantastic color. Kind of smells like coconut which I'm not super into, but it's not strongly enough scented that it gives me a headache or anything. So I think it's definitely a win. I think it was like $6. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if they still make this one, but I know they make other bronzers and they're all pretty good. And then finally, um, my blush is from Darling Girl. I've been wearing this a lot lately. This is their Hypnotic Blush. I don't know if they still make this one, but all their blushes are really great. What's nice about Hypnotic is it's a cooler toned neutral blush. So here it is. And then I will do a swatch. Um, but I put on my bronzing powder first and then I just put the blush on. And look, it's like a cool mauve taupe blush. But I think it gives a really natural flush to the skin. Um, I am a cool olive skin tone. I know a lot of people are gonna freak out because I said olive. So I'll go with a, um, a cool green undertoned skin that's a bit on the pale side. And so for me, those sort of mauve shades look very natural and neutral. Um, this would be great if you were paler than me. Um, this might look a little ashy on you if you had a very warm skin tone, but I think it's beautiful. So there you go. That is some of the things I've been really enjoying lately. I hope that you guys are doing well. Um, we have su survived um, mostly Washington, Snowpocalypse, Snowmageddon. Um, I know a lot of people in the rest of the country are like, oh my God, you got like eight inches of snow. Why are you crying? Um, we're crying because um, most of us do not own snow shovels because it never does this. Our state has like no snow plows because it never does this. So um, yeah, so the reason we're all big babies is because we have <laughs> nothing in place to handle this situation. Um, I lived for a while in New York and uh, like it would snow in New York and it was like, whatever, it's snow, just come to work and deal with it, you know. Um, but in Washington, <laughs> When we get snow, we get it for like a day and it's like two inches or, or less and then it melts the next day and then it's just over and this has been like four or five days of our lives of, of having all the snow. So 
that's why we're big babies. <laughs> and I'm originally from Louisiana, so this is a lot of snow for me. So I'm an even bigger baby than most. <laughs> so anyway, that's enough waffling on. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.